I think he would like to keep the Shadow Wave as long as possible. They can actually heal Bomb with the Spiderlings right now. It's a really, really powerful play that comes out of nowhere. Like, you, you find the, the Naga in the jungle, you find someone with the Spiderlings, and you just mm -hmm. deal 500, 600 burst physical damage with that. Uh, he already there, just putting so much pressure on QO. How often do you see a Rubik support zoning away a quad? Not very often, but when it's oh, FY, and he oh does it again, God. he might even get the kill! He still scream! FY! Unbelievable! That was quick. Can that was efficient. QO let him do that. And KP's down for the count as well. The coverage of Spidlings here from VG Gaming. Difficult to keep up, but they can just keep the momentum going. Feby, you might show the grave now, but you'll want it later. There's no way to TP out. There's one being dragged back in the Lena. Super with a double kill. The Aghanim's up to fully done and March. Well, the Invisor is the only thing that's saving him from this rampaging VG. And it was looking good for a moment with that Radiance pickup. Oh, it's looking pretty grim again very quickly for MVP. VG, you know, it's also got to be really frustrating for QR. He's had a really hard game. He gets his against is like, yes, now I'm ready to fight. You get soloed by the enemy position four. It's kind of a, a big momentum breaker here. VG gaming or... He could actually kill Hao right now and burn the Aegis the Immortal, but to do so, he'd lose his life. The blink in and Sonic Wave, March with a... <laughs> Okay. He's just showing off. He takes the creep wave. <laughs> he's, just, he's just dodging the attacks of the towers by doing that. No damage has to be taken by Hal. And these Naga illusions. They actually shallow grave one of them to get the Radiance Burn time over on Hal with a rocket hitting hard. Down to 90. 90 life. That's a pretty nice play, actually. If they had another Riptide, I think they would have killed him there. And if nothing else, MVP by time. They did not lose their tower. There's enough gold in KP right now to buy an ultimate orb or a Yasha, and I think it is... It's a boots of travel, travel recipe. recipe first. Okay. So he's gonna disassemble. So maybe he's gonna go straight Octarine Core before the Manta. I think that's a build we see quite often. The problem with that, this game, is that he dies to Solo Storm. He doesn't have a, an Orchid counter, so very easily be abused here by Hal if he's looking for it. I love the sad does flag the fact that FY was the man that bought the mech for VG Gaming. I don't have no other mech carrier. No. It's very, very good against the Radiant team. Of it's course, just VG Gaming, they're already considering their win condition, right? They're going to want to push the base at some point. And for that to be as easy as swift as possible, I would, I would say mech is absolutely required. And Pipe is very good when you're pushing against Naga. Because the way she holds is that she will send out like one illusion at a time with a little bit of Radiance Burn and a Riptide. Kill off one, the next one comes, the next one comes, and then maybe the wave doesn't even reach. But if you just pipe the wave, she simply cannot cut it. And you ensure you get into the base, one of the better items for high ground sieging. But no one is remotely close, so it makes me think that VG Gaming aren't planning for it. I'm not so sure about Ice Science Science with his movement through the Radiant Jungle. Like, keeping the Spidelings out here is a problem for MVP, but Naga Siren has just sent a couple of illusions over and farmed them up quite nicely. So you're able to find some extra income coming in for the Naga. It's not the most fantastic income, but it's still something. So the illusion spread, all you gotta do is just a little bit of work. Ideally, when you're a Naga at this point in time, you want to be farming the enemy jungle while they want to farm it. But Vichy are just giving them the day. They don't really care so much about their own jungle right now. They're more about controlling the enemy jungle, going to the aggressive place. Here's the Orchid. Yep. How, by the way, this is when it gets really scary. The solo pickup potential is so much higher. There's no hero on the Radiant he can't solo. He can actually literally just pick whatever hero he wants to kill and kill it if Dazzle isn't there. Or Naga with a song. He might have some issues with the Quap though. Have you brought the Ogre Quap and the full Aghanim Scepter? I think he can still kill it. It might be close though, you're right. It's a lot of life. Long jump, one going up to nuts. Gonna drag him back. Well, you want a solo kill, you got one. Nuts will pop here to Hal. And that's gonna give him his 11th Bloodstone charge. The BT's got the Naga. Is this gonna force in the middle lane? The hook shot off target again from March. Ice 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 was farming up the Radiant Ancients. And they saw it quite clearly. The Observer Ward was there, but the Ancient got in the way. And Ice 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 going for an interesting combat group though here. I feel like Sanjay Yasha Brood doesn't get played very often. 
It's, it's, it's normally more of that kind of more push kind of style. Yeah, I or the disable or the Dagon. Yep. And this could have been an. I think this could have been a, a good game for the Dagon build, but they might just be considering once again win condition. How do we high ground? If you have more of a battle brood, it's easier to siege the tower for him. Well, the panel was saying like the problem where you have like here is like Urshaker, Lina, and Rubik. They're not really that great at getting up on the high ground and taking out these tier three towers. Storm Spirit's in the same situation. So Ice Ice has to be that tanky guy they just put in the front line that's able to beat down the towers. Or you win through split push only. Or they get an Aegis and then Hal can do it. But he doesn't hit that hard. But then again, if it was the base break build they were going for, he could have considered a Deso, which we've seen a couple of times. Before. We'll see how this works out. So funny, so much space for KP. But the Yasha is done. The Naga just keeps coming out and finding the Spilings, attempting to block up camps. But he gets a couple of them and then farms up the side lane too. An MVP, that's like proof for smoke, and in fact, that's exactly what it is. An Invis rune triggered by the Naga Siren. They do have the Song of the Siren. But there's Sonic there. Wave of cooldown in four seconds time, but yeah, they go opposite directions. And VG Gaming are not near these smoke heroes. Unless MVP loop around, they're probably more on the hunt for the Broodmother. They've got Dust Over on Febby as well as Sentry Wards on both Febby as well as Nuts. So they need to find some opening. Here, here's that loop we were talking about. Fenrir hiding in the trees. Now he's going to blow the smoke early, and they're going to ping out the fact he's there. And with the weave, they reveal it off. Where's that paralyzing cast bounce? Not going to come. Malediction also off target. So no joy here for the MVP movement out. But again, VG Gaming. It's, yeah. it's a slow push to victory. They keep gaining. They're gaining against the Naga. That's not what you want to see when you're in the MVP team. They have 21,000 experience advantage right now for VG Gaming. With 14k in the gold as well. It's just... It's a slow death. It's a slow death for MVP. Their own real, only real hope is what happens when VG finally make the push into the tier 3 tower. Either it becomes a trade-off where QO is desperately trying to farm his BKB. They've all got to come back now because they're seeing VG coming. But you do have really great team fight abilities. If you can drop all the armor down of VG, that death ward can do more work. March has great initiation up QO with that sonic wave. That's if he survives it. In comes your hookshot. Tries to buy the space. The paralyzing cards bouncing back and forth. The echo sam looking for more damage. QO will jump out. There's your death ward going to work. But you're in real trouble for March. The sonic wave. How still alive? The queen of pain down. And Fenrir in the corner. Peeing into March. The heal bomb is there. And Fenrir is so low on life. They need more damage than they will actually get from the malediction. They jump back. Attended to now. Not going to happen. It is two against one. Bebby being orchid up. So he can't even shallow grave the poor Naga Siren who never even ulted. There is a buyback to the Naga Siren, but Clockwork as well as Queen of Pain are down for now. Ice 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 wasn't even there. He's just chilling. I was just like, great work, everyone. He's, he's just soloing Roshan by himself. The Naga Siren, there's the buyback. This might force VG Gaming back for now. And in fact, it will do so. They're TPing out. Ice Ice Ice, like, please, someone come and be my friend. They got, Roshan. they got three kills, they force a Naga buyback, they get Roshan, zero cost, they got a 2-2 tower, mm -hmm. Bloodstone charges and Storm, like this is getting completely out of hand. And, and Storm, is this, this is going to be a Lincoln Sphere as well for Storm? Or what else do we look for him to get with a casual Perseverance? Yeah, it's got it. I don't think there's a better choice for this. Just considering Lotus, but I don't, I don't really see it. Let's go for that Battle Fury. Well, he bought the Lincoln Sphere recipe, so luckily we'll avoid that one. It would probably set the Battle Fury win rate for Storm Spirit to like 100% if he wins the game with <laughs> The stats style can points. have so, so much fun. Generally, you don't go for style points when you're playing for uh, 1.2 million dollars. So it's a little more important than your style points. Oh, there goes your Sonic Wave, also with a Death Ward Super. Just too big, however, he'll still pop from the Malediction. So Witch Doctor will play in this, he will set this up, he's yeah, avoiding the damage, yeah. but it's not possible. There goes your Bloodstone Charges. Just a couple of them, however. Qo tried to come back in there to get the last hit before he could suicide. But you gotta, you gotta lean it down for only a short period of time, there's still a fair amount of charges there. So the death timer isn't that long. KP, he's just taking up residence inside the tire jungle, leaves a couple of illusions behind, then BT back to base. 
Let his illusions farm up the lanes instead. FYI, she managed to complete an entire Greaves on this Rubik. Is there anything valuable he can perch off? I guess not. Strike. Yeah. Can't really perch anything. There's no Orchid on Quad. He's going for BKB. It's all about survivability and just... I say living through the fights. How? Just jumped in so deep. He's got to pull the front of the siren. It gets off. Super digger that light strike array out. And KP, they want to walk back. They don't have TPs available. Those BTs are still on cooldown. That's just a flat out misplay from how there. He orchids the Naga, they kill her. And she fought back before that. This could have probably been the lane of Rax as well. Radiant will lose their career. Hook shot down. They find an opening. It's actually going to be FY jumping in with a scream. As they hook shot, it wasn't even the clockwork. How? Balls over the Naga Siren. And he'll go in deeper. Orchids on Febby. The paralyzing cask. It's going to actually trigger the Lincolns. No way to bounce. And hook shot out. Now it's a real one. It's March. But FY, he's still got the Queen of Bane blink. March isolated outside the base. Lagoon is down. And how dragging Febby back. It's a double kill for Super. And this will be the opening. They wanted to push up, take the tier 3 tower. And it's going to be a split push as well as Broodmother. Aizai Saiz want to prove he can be just as Nagari as Naga, as he will pick up his own Radiance and just split push down tier 3, top and bottom. <laughs> you haven't seen him near a fight for the last 15 minutes. Oh, they got QR. He's just, he's just chilling. Yep, doesn't care. Glimmer Cape won't protect QO. They drop the central ward inside the base, and QO's down for the count. This could be it right now. There's no way for Nuts to survive. They're losing too many players time and time again. No buybacks for anyone on MVP. There's just no money. There's no economy. MVP are trapped inside their well, and that's the only thing that protects them at the moment. The, red, the rest of this map is fair game for Hal.